What's up, y'all? It's your boy Dawson from DD TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will donate, I appreciate it. Also, go over and check out my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speak TV. Subscribe over there, hit that notification button. I appreciate it. Before I get started on this topic, let me also real quick give a shout out to Miss Sunshine ZTV, one of my subscribers. Miss Sunshine ZTV just got over a thousand subscribers this week, and I am so happy for her. And I just want to tell her to keep doing your thing, keep speaking your mind. Don't be worried about people's opinion on YouTube. It comes with the territory because I, I can see great things for you. You know, you're relatable to people like you. Just keep doing your thing, Miss Sunshine Z. And when I saw that thing go over a thousand, I'm like, yeah, she finna do it, man. Keep going. Keep going. So y'all check out her channel, too. And also to a lady who is just she really don't need me to give her a shout out because she's just taking over everything. Miss. uh, What's her name? Tasha K. Unwind with Tasha. Tasha, I, I mean, this lady just came within a year year and just took over didn't ask any questions came out and just did what she had to do and i want y'all to also get that same concept because some of y'all want to start youtube channels and let me tell you stop looking at everybody else comparing yourself or trying to pick people's personality and try to be like this start your own stuff and just be you and people will like you for being you and then build momentum on that and then just you know just do your thing so definitely congratulations to you both all right, now this story comes out of Toledo, Ohio, and it's of a pastor. His name is Anthony Morris, 49 years old, and his wife, Zelda Morris, 46 years old, and their daughter have been accused of robbing a Sunday school teacher in the church at gunpoint. Now, the whole, you know, reason all of this happened is because allegedly the pastor, Anthony Morris, had been sleeping with a Sunday school teacher and his wife found out and just went ballistic. So I'm going to let y'all watch this video and I will be back with the rest of my commentary. But before I go there, let me say this. What is going on with these pastors in Toledo, Ohio? Because you all remember the videos I did on the three pastors who were involved in the sex ring with underage girls in Toledo, Ohio. And now we have this situation with this pastor, his wife, and his daughter. But like I told you all before, y'all have to be careful because in many churches, all someone has to do is have superficial charm. They put Jesus on the end. They could be ex-cons or anybody else, and they could just want to run a hustle on y'all. All they have to do is just say, God sent me. God told me to come. I'm the pastor. And people just fall for this stuff without betting these people. And it's just really sad because y'all are the ones getting messed up by this foolishness. And someone keeps telling me, well, why don't you report the good things that they do and the good things that happen? Well, that's why you got a YouTube channel. Won't you report it? Don't tell me what to report. I'm going to do what I want to do. It's been working for me so far. So let me continue on. I'm going to let y'all watch this video. <laughs> and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. The pastor of St. Paul AME Zion, Anthony Morris, and his wife Zelda Morris are behind bars accused of attacking the Sunday school teacher. This is the 911 call from the woman. What happened? The pastor came in with his wife and his daughter. He called a gun out on me. The victim, Nakima Turner, was upset. She just sat down for Sunday school with her daughter and two of the pastor's grandchildren. The police report states the next thing she knew, she was grabbed from behind by her hair by Camilla Morris. That's the pastor's daughter. And she stole your phone? <laughs> she stole my phone. She threw it. It's broken. During the fight, Turner told police she attempted to dodge punches and struck her head on a table, causing swelling over her left eye. The victim claimed as she fought back, Pastor Anthony Morris pulled out a handgun, pointed it in the victim's face, and stated, blank, I'll kill you. Where are they now? Um, the pastor left with his gun in his family. According to the report, the pastor's wife, Zelda, grabbed the victim's purse, dumped it, and allegedly stole two prescription bottles, an iPhone, and a taser. It goes on to say the wife screamed at the victim's daughter. You want to know why this happened? It happened because your mom slept with my husband. All right, y'all, let's go in. Now, first of all, let me give everybody a minute who can't handle, like, straight talk and people just, just giving it to you straight. Look. I need you to log off right now because we live in a real world where people have real issues and people are being abused. People are being sexually molested. People are being manipulated, spiritually manipulated in churches now. 
and I don't have time to sugarcoat things in order because, oh, I don't want to hear that or let's pray about it. Why don't you go to church, go to your friends and your prayer circle and y'all pray and then y'all watch God change things. But for those of us who know that we have power, authority and dominion, we're going to activate that right now. Let's go in. Now, I believe that this pastor did sleep with that Sunday school teacher. I do believe that. And many of us who have gone, grown up in churches, not only churches, I always put mosques, synagogues, centers, wherever you go or any time we, we met people who have cheated on their spouse. You got in front of the church and you got in front of your families and friends. And you said that God told you that this is your husband and your wife. And God told you that you're going to be committed to this person. And you lied to the family. You lied to God. You lied to your friends. And now you're on the news and you want us to feel sympathy for you. I don't feel sympathy for you. Just like you told her you were committed to her. Your dick should have been committed to her as well. And vice versa, if, it, if it's the woman who's cheap. Now, I know we're living in the 21st century now and I know people are still in love and want to fall in love. But let me tell you why Dawson don't go to weddings. I don't go to weddings because in two years, people always get divorced. Some of them don't even make it a year. So I, I, I'm, I know a lady who was in church. She was so this was she was in her mid 40s, almost I think mid 40s or whatnot. Got married. The marriage only lasted really three months. But after six months, they they went and lived, you know, in separate uh, houses. I don't like people playing games when it come to marriage. Y'all, I, I not y'all can unsubscribe. Thank you for coming. But I'm going to tell you this. If you are married to somebody. Stay married to your wife. Stay married to your husband. All that swapping fluids with other people and bringing people and people going to the doctors to get a checkup, then finding out they have an STD or something. Come on. I don't I don't I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I, I can't get with you on that. If you are married, you need to be committed to your wife. You need to be committed to your husband. I've been like that since day one. And I know we live in a time now where other, everybody wants to cheat and people want to marriage to people now is nothing more than just a title. Because the ring is on your finger. They say they're committed to you, but their private parts belong to everybody else in the community. Now, I just had to get that out of the way. Now, let me get on him. Pastor Anthony Morris. Yes, I do believe he slept with the Sunday school teacher. And then this makes me look at his wife, Zelda. And I want y'all to look at Zelda. Look at Zelda. And we're looking at Zelda because Zelda has on her face what so many women have on their faces when they have basically given all of everything over to their husband. This man can cheat on you with somebody in close proximity, somebody in Sunday school, a Sunday school teacher, somebody that you all appointed to be a Sunday school teacher. And instead of being mad at the man who can't control his dick, you're mad at this woman, which you should be mad at her. And she is an adult. Yeah, Miss uh, Miss Nakima Turner, you're an adult and you should have known not to sleep with this uh, this man's uh, this woman's husband. But you should have been equally mad at them both. So my question to you is that you were married to this man. Why were you still there? Why did you stay with him? Well, you don't know what's involved, Dawson. You can't say people have to leave. Well, that's why I always tell y'all. That's why I want women to have your own stuff. Have your own money. Your own have. When he starts acting up, you this is not slavery. When he starts acting up or he wants to molest the kids or abuse you or abuse the kids or whatever happened, you don't have to stay there. Have your own job, your own money, have your exit plan. So when someone wants to act up, you don't have to stay there and deal with their foolishness. And this goes for men and women. But the frustration on Zelda's face. Let me tell you something, Zelda. This ain't your first time in the rodeo. You've been through this before. I don't believe this is the first time this man has cheated on you. I believe you have seen this like so many other first ladies and women who've gone in churches and who have had to deal with infidelity. Going in front of the church, trying to keep their marriage together. I want the Lord to, you know, just to work on me to be a better wife. Oh, but it ain't you, wife. It's him. The Lord need to work on him so he can control his dick. Now, I told y'all to log off because I don't know how to be but real because I'm tired of women going to the health department or going to their doctors, finding out they got gonorrhea and syphilis. And everybody say, just pray. I'm all prayed up. I told y'all when y'all come over here, don't be telling me to pray. I'm all prayed up. We need to speak truth to power. And some of y'all need to wake up. Some of us are in relationships where people, they're no more committed to us than they're committed to their cell phone carrier. 
And some people jump from different cell phones. I'm with T-Mobile. I'm with AT&T. I'm with Sprint. I'm with Boost. Come on, nah. They can't commit to you. And you know this. But for the sake of having everyone look at you on Facebook and this is my boo and hashtag relationship goals and oh, celebrating our one year anniversary, a one year anniversary that's been full of hell because all the only thing good about it is the pictures you put on Facebook, but the man don't even love you. If we're looking at your Facebook and your Instagram pictures, we think y'all okay. But behind closed doors, the people who really know you know that you're about to lose your mind. Now, let me get back on this. Now, these two are charged with aggravated robbery with a deadly weapon. And they both are still in jail. And, you know, go ahead and let them stay there for a little bit longer. The bond has been set, you know, maybe somebody will give them the money to get out. And they're still looking for the 19-year-old daughter, Camilla, who, uh, who also was involved in this as well. They haven't uh, located her. But her... The daughter was fighting because she wants her parents to be together. And so if mama says daddy just slept with this lady and she trying to break up our family as a kid, a 19 year old, 20 year old, you know, you're going to side with your family. But you're 19 now and you have to know that that woman didn't control your dad's private. Your dad has to control his sexual organs just like you do. And a lot of times in churches, y'all, I'm telling y'all this, some of these people, they can preach well, they can shout, they speak in tongues, they run around the church, they act so spiritual. But when you get them outside, it's 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 freaky Freddy, sick Willie, <laughs> literally sick Willie, whore and Hattie, these people, I'm serious, man, I just don't deal. I don't deal because when people start saying God told me and the Lord said, and this going to be your wife and this going to be here and this going to be here and y'all going to be this. And then I found out you on your second and third marriage. You can't tell me nothing. No, again, I have to keep saying this. This is not all pastors and are all people or whatever. You know, I'm not generalizing and people always put in the comments. Well, you know, many are called, but few are chosen. But to me, it seems like the church should do a better job with vetting the ones who are up here preaching. Some of these pastors, I'm telling you, I did the thing on the, uh, the, the youth pastor and some of the other pastors who were sexual offenders, who had backgrounds. You mean to tell me that the church are you just so blown away by charisma and that someone is articulate and that someone can, you know, move a crowd that you don't do a background check? No, you, you don't. I know why, because it's all about the money. Who's going to put the butts in the seat of the pews? So we can bring in money and we can have one or two or three offerings during a service. That's what it's about. Church is a money making organization. And I understand you need money to you. You, ha you have to keep the lights on. You have to, you know, get, you know, AC and stuff. Funk. I understand that part of it. But I'm talking about the extra stuff. When people who are doing it and manipulating the people just so they can have trips to Dubai and the pastor can drive up in his three hundred thousand dollar car. Or two hundred thousand, or a hundred thousand. Well, the Lord bless my pastor. Then why half of the congregation still living in the project, or don't know how they gonna pay their bills? Shouldn't the Lord bless the whole church? Oh well, it goes to the head, and then it falls on the body. Well, the whole body is basically depleted, and your pastor the only one who's doing good, and that don't that don't ring a bell to you? That don't ring. <laughs> that don't ring a bell to you. I mean, beside all that spiritual stuff, I've heard it all. I sit there and sometimes when I hear people talk, I just look at them. All this pastor worship and church worship and your life is in turmoil and your life is in hell and you want to activate and to touch the pastor, but you don't want to activate and touch God because if you had a real relationship with God, let me shut up on that because y'all know how I begin. <laughs> and that, I, yeah, let me tell you this. I talk this way to my mom. Me and my mom go at it. And my dad, my dad more laid back with me. He's like a scholar. We can debate and it's good. But <laughs> it's just like, I just look at some of this stuff as complete foolishness. Because some people looked up to this couple as pastor and the first lady, the first family. But the first family was not supposed to be in the position that they were in because somebody did not vet them well. And now we have this particular situation that's a complete debacle. 
Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. It's your boy Dawson. Y'all don't hold back on your comments. Just go in. Remember, take care of yourself and each other. But most definitely, take care of yourself.